As usual, we have a lot of information here, so we'll get going right away. Scale of difficulty. I think this is an interesting thing to think about with green building. I often see many people who are very enthusiastic about green building who are biting off a lot. And there's nothing wrong with that, but depending on whether or not you have any experience in building, you might want to consider the level of your the level of difficulty of your project. And here's a few things that will go into that. A few things to think about. Budget. So we got here lots of dough or no dinero. So these this chart here, it's a bit of a crude chart, but it goes from less difficulty to more difficulty. And obviously the combination of these things can be put together in a bunch of different ways, but I wanted to give you a bunch of different ways to think about your project and what things add complexity or challenge to it. So you can choose your challenge. Okay, so budget, money, it's important, right? You don't need money to build a house. You can do it all by yourself. You can build it out of scrap. You can do a garbage warrior type thing in the woods. But if you're doing any type of a conventional home in a conventional area, even if you are building it yourself, you're going to spend a bunch of money on permits and materials and all those other kinds of things. So more than likely, you're going to come somewhere in in the middle uh, or you're 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 not going to be at the no dinero part, but the more money, and you're probably always going to be trying to stretch whatever dollar you have. That just seems to be the nature. No matter how much money you have, people always seem to bite off a bit more than they chew and end up spending a bit more than they want to on a project. So think about where you stand for the for the dinero in your project. Another thing to think about is time. Mucho tiempo or tight schedule. So if you have, you can see my, my job Spanish is at work here. But if you have all the time in the world, that makes things less challenging. And sometimes that goes with, with money, with having money or with not having money. Or sometimes you have one, sometimes you have the other. But if you have a lot of time, it's generally less difficult than having to reach deadlines. Although I will say that most of the projects I know that don't have good deadlines attached to them, and we'll get to, into this in the planning part of this webinar, most of the projects that don't have good deadlines and good time management uh, drag on and, and become bad scenes in construction. It's, it's not good to have something lounge along unless you're just doing it by yourself on your own and nobody else is involved, I guess. In general, and and also you may be asking why I'm talking about this stuff at all. How is this green? And, and I think one of the reasons this stuff is green is because a well-run, efficient, project done in a as short amount of time as possible is efficient, uses less materials, costs less money, and generally that all has less of an effect on the environment. So think about what kind of time you have for your project. Materials. Are you using typical common materials on your project or is it something very unique or experimental? I'm going to tell you a little story about this in a minute. Climate. Moderate climate or harsh climate? It can make a difference in your project. A friend of mine is, is currently building a project in Arizona 
up in the mountains in Flagstaff, Arizona, and and they actually have to. He he is going to buy snowmobiles so he can continue to get out to this project during the winter because the roads close off. So obviously, that leans more towards the harsh side of the climate scale and and makes this project a little bit more difficult. Access. So, I mean, access, the climate affects the access of the project I just told you about, but what about a, a urban or suburban project where you are on a tight little road and you can't put a dumpster out there or you can't unload a standard type truck or you have to have special permits for having your concrete truck on the street because there is literally no room. I've done a project like that and access can make you know, tough access can make a project stretch on longer. Permit jurisdiction, you know, this goes all the way from um, certain areas in the country and around the world that have no permits at all. No inspectors, no nothing. And then on the other end of the, which may be suburban, may, may not be, um, on the other end of the scale, uh, many cities are extremely difficult with uh, permitting and that can slow a project down it can also mean that your planning stages get extended quite a bit longer so that's another thing to think about contract type are you doing this we're going to get into this a little bit more too <clears throat> you have an experienced contractor building this or a first-time owner-builder. Hopefully a, a good experienced contractor can build a home a lot faster than someone who's never built a home before for a whole bunch of reasons. But there's various ways that, that you can build either with a contractor or with assistance from a contractor or or by yourself. And then the, the project type too. Now this it's actually interesting. Um, I put these in order of remodel, gut remodel, addition, and new construction um, from less difficult to more difficult. But a remodel could certainly be on this end of the scale. Say you're restoring a colonial home and you have to lift the whole house up, remove the old foundation, and put a new foundation underneath it. You know, a re remodels can be very challenging and far more challenging than new construction and of course you can have blends of all these things too but I think you have to take a look at your overall project and the complexity of your project um, the scope of your project so I hope that gives you some things to think about you know some people can do very challenging projects for the first time but if you're gonna do it you know Maybe you want to have some money. Maybe you want to have some uh, expertise on your side. Maybe you want to choose a few things to help you out or plan on building for a very long time.